Boy, you know you getting old when your Barbie got a graffiti, a whole situation. Boy, you pulled that can out on me like. I took a shower and had to call bro back like, hey, my edge up and fell off, bro. I need, a, I need another daily dose. So that's <laughs> no, no, no. It's downhill from here, bro. <laughs> hey, but on a serious note, though, I know y'all want to know about the support and resistance because it's lit and we got to get y'all some money. So let's get right into the video. <laughs> Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. <laughs> Today, we are gonna talk about support and resistance, man. But before we even get into the video, make sure y'all thumbs this video up for the YouTube algorithm. And I told y'all the giveaways is back. So every single video from now on, make sure you like it, comment your cash app or your Bitcoin address, man, because we're supposed to be giving away a lot of cash. I'm gonna tell y'all just how much yet. But it's gonna be serious, so make sure because you never know which video I'ma pick. You know what I'm saying? So on another note, man, the scripture of the day is my favorite scripture of all time. Let's start doing the scripture of the day, y'all. Scripture of the day is seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And that's Matthew 6:33. Alright, so follow that, and you'll go a long way in life. Yitty. I know y'all missed your boy, but guess what? I'm back and better than ever, baby. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Yo, so we are here with the support and resistance level video. So to make sure y'all get y'all trading popping, you know what I'm talking about? You gotta get it right before you get left. So let's get to it, man. Look, all right, so first thing you wanna do, we're gonna show you on MT4 and Trading View. All right, so you can go to your weekly chart. The Basically, the first thing you want to do is mark your chart up with support and resistance zones. Find these key levels because when you get that bounce, <laughs> come on now, y'all know what that bounce do. All right, so you got two ways of doing this. You can come right here, get you a horizontal line, and you're looking for key levels that touch in the same area. All right, so watch me draw this. One, look at this. That the, all these touching the same area, all right. These touching the same area, uh huh. You got a lot of stuff going on. This one, this one, all that, all that touching the same area. So you got a lot of them, right? Now you can mark it up a bunch of different ways, all right. But I'm gonna show you how to do it like this. So you grab this, you can mark it up like this. So let's say you, you take this zone. This is on a weekly now. So we're gonna do top down analysis. All right, and you can just mark up your zones like this. All right, so you're just finding all the areas that touch in the same area. Now I'm gonna show you, you know, an issue with this after I show you a way you can do it. Now some people trade like this and that's cool because it don't matter, you can do it either way, whichever way works best for you. So I found one, two, Three, and you always looking for places that touch at least one, two, not one time, but at least two to three times or more. You know what I'm saying? So, whoop, I done grabbed the wrong thing. Y'all, my bad, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Players mess up. But, but you want to get the ones that uh touch in the same spot. All right, and you want to get the ones that touch one, two, I mean, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so here we go. So from here, let me explain this part. The support zone is the floor. Resistance is the ceiling, right? So you, it's a bouncy ball, right? Bouncing one area to the next, one zone to the next. All right, so you can mark as many as you want. And the reason why I'm marking these, like I said, it touch one, two, three. We need at least two to three or four or five touches. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of touches is gonna let you know how good the zone is. Now this is on the weekly, all right? So from here, we go down to the daily, all right? And we can zoom out. So from here, y'all, you can see different levels, all right? So the market came up, gave you a cool little bounce here. Usually whatever happens to the left will happen to the right. It didn't quite make it up here and it dropped beforehand, came back down here, shot up, broke through it, right, with the fake out shot back through it another zone would be right here because it gave you a retest drop through retest drop all right so 
if you look at this, you could just automatically start to see all the different ways that you could have got in this trade. It, it was gonna bounce here. Let me look to the left of that. Yeah. So if you look to the left here, matter of fact, let me get my drawing tool so y'all can see it. So I need y'all to see this, you know what I'm talking about? So if you look over here, right? The market touched here. I told you, usually what happens to the left happens to the right. You notice that? Started over here, shot all the way up here, came right back to these same zones all the way through, all right? So when you come over here to the right, you get the same thing. And the market heading back up. What's interesting is over here, it did the same thing, right? So if the market touched here, shot up, touched here, shot up, nine times out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Majority of the time. Now you will have breakouts and stuff like that. It'll break trend and try to go to new highs and, uh, in the market and stuff like that. So you always want to keep those in mind, okay? But for the most part, um, you know, it's gonna respect respect these levels. Now from the daily, if you don't see any more small zones you can mark up, you go down here to the H4, all right? And you, you know, you can do the same thing. Now on the H4, like I said, if you see smaller zones that touch in the same area, you can mark them up. See what I'm saying? We got one touch, two touch, three touch, and then some more touches up in here. And then you can mark up smaller ones. Now the problem with this is y'all, you can have a chart with a lot of lines on it. And it may confuse you, but some people can see it. I can still see it, you know. But some people, it may just be too many lines for you. And you're like, bro, that's too much. I can't be looking at the chart like that. It's going to confuse me. So, one thing you could do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And one thing you should do, let me go delete all these right here. All right, so, an easier way you could do it is go to Insert, go to Shape, Rectangle. All right? And you could just draw your zones like this. You know what I'm saying? Make it a lot easier on you, okay? And then you can come here, but you gotta keep going here and doing this. Now, if there's an easier way to do this part, y'all let me know in the comment section. You know what I'm talking about? Cause this right here be taking all day and ain't making time for that. See, if you mess up, you, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? But you can move this, all right? So, we're gonna go here with it. We can stretch it all the way over here, like that. And then you could do bigger zones if you want. And that way you ain't gotta be doing all the small ones or you can come in and, and hit them with a couple of them small ones. You know what I'm saying? And then, here we go. Bop. And like I said, there we go. So, from here, like I said, you can go to H4. You know, see if it lets you, let me, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, and then you can see smaller zones. Now, you can create smaller ones in here Cause you got all these touches. One, two, three. So let me let me let me draw the tool. Touch here. Touch here. Touch in this area. Touch in this area. This area. They all you see all so this is a whole zone too. So you can mark it up right there as well. Uh if that helps. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, you find the entries. Alright, so I'm gonna just mark that up right quick, just so you can visually see it because I know some of y'all got to visually see some things but let me go ahead and mark this whole little zone up right here boop boom so now look where price is currently right and this is on the H4 price is currently here so we got that bounce and now we hit it back up what's interesting again is that the last time price bounced here we got a up bounced here again went up Bounced here again, went up, same. Matter of fact, I think it's an easier way for me to even do this. I could have been using the arrow the whole time. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Up and up. So look at that. How many time, how many buy opportunities did you have over here? A whole lot, even over here, went up. You know what I'm saying? So you had a lot of different buy opportunities based off support and resistance zones. That's how important they are. But like I said, you can go down even further, find even better entries on smaller time frames. All right. So that's a good way to do that. All right. And now I'm going to show you how to do it as well on um, trading view. So we come here to trading view, same rules apply. You can come here to the one hour and then go down to 
the weekly same rules apply y'all same rules all right with this one you come over here to the left you grab your rectangle and you see one two three right four so we can make this a whole zone right we can uh, double click that so it'll stick there we go all right and then like I told y'all, same rules apply. You can keep finding them. You got a couple here. You got some all through here. You got a couple up here. So it's a bunch of different zones. There's a lot of different zones. You just gotta train your eyes to see it. Once you do that, it's over. You, you'll be able to find them immediately and find setups and be able to hop straight into the market based on what you see. So I'm just gonna draw a zone straight through here. Now you could draw it directly on the wick or you could draw it like close, closer to the body. Like I said, if you need to adjust it, however you want to adjust it for your zones, you could do that. All right. And then I'm going to draw at least one or two more of these. One, two, all these touches, right? Whatever happens to the left happens to the right. Now, if I zoom into this right quick, y'all, let me see if it let me zoom. There we go. If I zoom into this, you'll find something that's really dope. Again, same thing. One, two. Why is this the same pattern? Look at that. Broke through it, test, drop. Broke through it, test, drop. You see how easy it would? So these two would technically could be another zone, another smaller zone. That's how you can find entries. But like I said, this is on the weekly, so you would have to go down even further unless you want to be holding for, for a lifetime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to hold that trade for eternity. You keep playing around. All right? So look, boom. Look at this. So we can mark this up as a zone. And then from here, like I said, you can go down to the daily, depending on where, whichever chart that you trade from. Whichever chart you trading from is what you go to. All right. Now, like I said, if you go to the M15, don't see nothing. You got to mark up smaller zones. But like from here on the daily, and then I can go down. Let's, let me just go to the H1, see what we can see. All right. So on the on the H1, this is what they give me. You. you know what I'm saying? This is what it look like. So you may need to mark up smaller zones. So you do the exact same thing at the bottom. You find other small zones that have been respected. Right now, it's actually bouncing off of this zone right here. You know what I'm saying if I want to drag this down just a little bit more to make it official, but look at that breakout test shot up. Same thing it did over here test shot up, right? Exact same thing. And then right now it's testing again. So if it tests three times, chances are we may get a small move up and then back down. So you can catch a few pips up or you can catch them back down. Really depends on how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And this works with every single pair. So just to go back over it again, all you're doing is just finding levels that touch in the same area. Got one, two, three, another four right here, five, and six and seven right in there. See all those levels that touch in the same area? Then you got one here. You got another one here. You see what I'm saying? And then if you go back, sometimes you can go back and find well, my chart be disappearing and all that. But if you go back, most of the time you can find that it touched in those same areas previously. All right. So that's a that's a dope thing about that is that most of the time you will be able to see that it touched in these uh, areas at a different point in time. And so you will be able to use those same strategies uh, the support and resistance zones to find your key levels and find the best entries possible to enter these markets in cash checks. We trying to enter the market in cash checks. Can we write that in the comment section below? Yeah, it. All right now, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it, y'all. It's really not that hard. You just find levels that touch in the same area. All right, you start from the top, the weekly chart, you can work your way down, or you can start from the daily, work your way down, or start from the H4, work your way down. However you do it, 
do it and make some paper off of it. If this video has helped you at all, man, hit that like button. You know what I'm talking about? Hit the like button and comment your cash apps and Bitcoin below because I'm doing these giveaways pretty soon. It is. So let's go. I'm going to let y'all. Peace. Yeah.